I think what inspires people to collect jewellery with noble provenance or great history are the jewels themselves. And each individual is going to form a very different collection. To me, gemstones have souls. I think it's that that I find so inspiring. To me, jewels are works of art. It is really a way of opening your mind to different moments in history. The more you collect, the more you learn about your jewels. It is a very, very rewarding process. The first suggestion is buy what you like. There is no point in buying something because somebody tells you that particular type of jewel is fashionable. It's very much this personal aspect that makes it so interesting. I mean, you can show a lady 55 pairs of earrings <laughs> and she'll pick one. And why she picks that particular one, you know, is buried deeply within her unconscious. But I think it's very important in the beginning is to take very good advice. If you're starting a collection or if you're building a collection, I think that quality is uh, essential. Buy the best that your uh, economic uh, situation allows. So maybe you reduce in size if you're buying a diamond piece of jewelry, but retain the quality. I think that the first uh, and most important thing is the look. The jewel has to look at you and say, Wow, I'm really the perfect example. I always can remember the wonderful ruby that we sold about five years ago. It was the most stunningly beautiful stone, almost inexpressible in words. I like to think that the Sunrise Ruby will now pass into history as one of the great fabled gemstones of the world. Then you have to look at the history of the jewels or its provenance. And uh, if you can uh, relate this jewel to an important person, whether it's royal or uh, a person of the show business, that helps. I mean, one of the undoubted highlights of recent years is the collection of royal jewels from the Bourbon Palmer family, which we sold in 2018. You know, it's arguably one of the most important collections of antique jewels in the last hundred years. The fact that Marie Antoinette <laughs> owned a particular pair of earrings says a great deal about her taste and about her personality that really no other object can. I like the two tiaras in the collection because, uh, first of all, I believe that each woman should own a tiara, at least in her dreams. The big uh, Hübner tiara contrasts with the, another smaller but absolutely delicious little tiara created by Kircher. Another one that sticks in my mind is a brooch or corsage ornament given to Archduke Frederick to his daughter in about 1900. The principal ruby in the centre, a beautiful Burmese stone. The finest rubies in the world come from northern Burma. In the candlelight, they come alive and burn as if they're on fire. I love to talk about a signature as uh, you talk of signatures on a painting, on a sculpture. Everybody dreams of um, a Cartier signature on a piece of jewelry, Van Cleef, now more and more Bulgari. If you have the same jewel signed or non-signed or very similar, the signature will make an enormous difference at the same level of quality. In 2007, Daniel and I introduced this new category of sales, which we called Noble Jewels, which quickly became a firm favourite of all collectors and still were the only auction house doing it. You come to Sotheby's and you have uh, very often uh, the best of uh, Cartier, the best of uh, Van Cleef from decades uh, past uh, that you cannot find in their shops now. The great thing about the great auctions of jewellery is the sheer volume of pieces that you'll find, you know, from the great to the small. The appreciation of vintage jewels is something relatively new to the wide public, even in our part of the world. But more and more we have seen this becoming a trend elsewhere. There are markets, for example, mainland China, where we've already noticed a massive increase in collectors. It seems to be a magnificent formula. Not only are the pieces beautifully made, wonderfully glamorous and romantic, but they're also associated with these great figures of history. <laughs>